Hi, Tom here with a simple way to draw a car. Start by drawing a box. We can draw the front of the box first using a soft guideline without putting too much pressure on the side of the pencil. The right hand side of the front of the box needs to be slightly shorter than the left hand side because it's a little bit further away from us, the viewer. Then on the left hand side, we can draw the side of the box, which is about a third the width of the front of the box, and it's receding away from us quite sharply, so it's about half the height of the front of the box too. Next, we could draw the back of the box, and then the right hand side of the box. So now we have a simple box shape, like a glass box, which we can draw the car within. This is the stage where you need to check your drawing and make sure that the proportions and the scale work okay. If you see something that needs changing, now's the time to change. Next, draw a guideline for the center of the front of the box. and then divide the front of the box with two horizontal lines. And then we can draw these two horizontal lines again on the side of the box. Notice how they get a little bit closer together as they recede on the left hand side, recede away from us, the viewer. Next, we can add two more horizontal lines to the front of the box, which recede a little bit towards the right, so they get a bit closer together towards the right. And then with these two new horizontal lines, we can draw semicircles at each end. Now we can draw some lines for the top of the side of the car on the side of the box. Next, we can extend these lines to enable us to draw the front windscreen of the shape of the car. Again, a box-like shape at this stage. Next, we could draw the front headlights of the car, two circles, one at each end of the front part of the car and then the basic shape of the grille at the front of the car. And now we can draw three boxes for the three wheels that we can see from the angle that we're looking at the car at. These boxes are just obviously guidelines to enable us to place the wheels accurately later on in the drawing. So all of this so far is just guidelines. A car in a box. The next step is to soften these harsh rectangular boxes into the more flowing naturalistic curves of the car. The idea is to use the boxes as a guideline so that we can get these curves and angles looking, working well, so that we can make the curves and angles work well, because we have the basic proportion and scale of the car drawn with the boxes that we've drawn. So for example, the wheels are just a circle on the side of each of the wheel boxes that we drew. We can see the whole circle of the two wheels on the left and the wheel on the right. We can only see the base of the circle and we can get the thickness of the wheel from the thickness of the wheel box that we drew. Look out for how the curve
curves work in the car and try not to add too many details. You just need a few details, but they need to be positioned in the correct place as much as possible. So keep your lines quite loose and free flowing so that you can create some energy in the curves that you draw and don't add too many details too fast. And if you see any shapes that need correcting or changing, as soon as you see something that needs changing, that's the best time to change it. Because otherwise I find that I might forget something that I notice that's wrong and just leave it in the drawing. So if you do notice anything that's not working so well, change it straight away. So for this Ford Mustang, we've got the basic shape of the car now, and we can add a few details, but the more details that you add to a car, the more static it might look. So to make this car look like it can move and drive fast, we need to keep the simplicity of the shapes as much as possible and indicate details rather than add too many details. Once you get to a certain stage of adding details and making the outlines slightly darker, then it's time to add some shading. For this drawing, I'm using a 4B pencil. Any soft dark pencil would do well. And for the shading, just use the side of the pencil and try and shade in blocks of tone. We could draw some lines for the shadow of the car to ground it. And the light can be coming from the left, so the shadow will be going to the right, the car's shadow will be going to the right, if the light's coming from the left, which makes sense. If you'd like to learn more, please consider joining my online drawing courses for beginners. You can find full details at my website, circlelineartschool.com. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date with all the content that I make. Next up, see the drawing unfold in real time.
If you'd like to learn more, please consider joining my online drawing courses for beginners. You can find full details at my website, circlelineartschool.com. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up to date with all the content that I make.